Lord, let's place ourselves. Let's stand up and open our Bible. Isaiah. Hosea. Chapter 12. Before Matthew, right at the end of the Old Testament. Everybody found it? And the word says, Ephraim, Ephraim feeds on the wind and pursues the east wind. He daily increases lies and desolation. Also, they make covenant with the Assyrians and oil is carried to Egypt. Amen. Please be seated. Brandon, the Lord showed an ovation in the service tonight. The, sh the Lord showed a, a strong wind, and the storm would hit a group of people. And in this group of people, there were four people. And these people surrender before this wind, before this situation. And one lady that's part of that group that was identified by the brethren that had the vision, she's been in this situation for three years. Three years that she's found herself in within this hurricane, this wind that's taking over her life, putting herself in that situation of losing situation. But tonight, I heard a voice. This voice said, raised. And when the people raised, the group of people raised, a, a hand, the hand was extended to these people. And the Lord showed in a different vision a lady that came in here tonight. She's, been, she's living in this gospel, this spiritual environment where everybody talks about God, where everybody sings and read the Bible. But interesting that she she comes comes in and out barefoot, without shoes, without any shoes, and she she does not notice that she's not wearing the shoes. She can't see that she's not wearing the shoes. The Lord, the Lord, when shows these visions, these gifts, these are gifts where the Lord wants to bring the teaching. The intention of the Lord tonight is, is to bring a form where these people can, can get out of this wind, this storm. Get out from this moment where this situation is involving these people, where where they can they, they can void the project of Jesus in your life. This woman comes in and out without shoes, walk barefoot everywhere, and the Bible says that the shoes the shoes are what. The shoes as the preparation for the gospel, the salvation. It's the person because the gospel, the salvation in Jesus, it takes away all the contact with this world. 
everything that's connected in this world, the shoes, is exactly that. It uh, isolates and avoids our contact with the world. We were taken away from the world. We, we don't belong to this world. We can't have. We cannot be. We, we cannot follow the form of this world, especially those are that are in this spiritual environment that we say that we were servant, that we saved. We cannot have any any contact. The contact that I talk about. Oh, now I have to be in a room closed by myself. No, it's to be prepared. It's to mold yourself. It's to mold yourself. From what the, what the world is offering, with, from what the world is trying to bring inside the church. Because tonight, you don't know what the environment that you live on. The church takes away the things from the world, and the world takes away the things from the church. You see the TV people that that they don't even say they're servant of Lord, and sometimes they they position themselves. I don't have any contact with God, but they talk about spiritual things, blessings. This is God is this, God is that. God raised the people to be different, and these people has to be the church. We, we need to fight for our salvation. We need, we need to be part of, part of this body, the Church of Christ. We need to be involved in everything that belongs to the Lord. But it's not simply being part of just listening what God says, just listening what the things of God. But we have to be witness of the power of God. The commitment of God is with the servant. Ephraim, Ephraim feeds on the wind and pursues the east wind. When the Bible says about the wind, The Bible is talking about that has no structure. You look, you you find this, the wind. You're looking at. Sometimes you're looking at the, the garden. You see the leaves flying away. You know, moving back and forth, back and forth. The wind has no form. It has no base. It's not a solid thing. It's it's here. Tomorrow is over there, and it's everywhere. And sometimes there's nothing. And after, and when the Bible talks about wind, it's talking about that. And Ephraim here, the tribe of Ephraim, was a chosen tribe from God. It was a tribe that was involved with the things of God, for the deliverance of the God. The tribe of Ephraim, the family of Ephraim, were, were family, were people that were target of the love of God, of the mercy of God, on the miracle of God. And now, and now this tribe that was under the hands of God, Ephraim, feeds on the wind. And these are people there. They are living within our church like Ephraim lived, like this tribe lived, feeding on themselves. Not letting, not, not letting the govern of the Lord direct their lives. Ephraim feeds on with of people that are taking, doing their lives the way, whatever they, whatever way they want it, without consulting the Lord, without exercising the faith, without exercising the, without seeking the direction of the Lord. The people that are feeling with the wind, that it's even worse. With that, that's not solid. That has no structure. The Bible talks about the wind. Talks about what? The fake, the fake teachings. There are false doctrines, false words. These are things that has no base, no biblical base, no base in Jesus. 
Interesting that the Brendan and the Vision understood that in the wind was taking over these people were winds of words within the family. Words, bad words, abusive words, words that would put people down. The words that many times you listen within the house, and even and even with friends at work, abuses that you hear sometimes with the intention to put you down, to take to take all the all, all the credits that you take in Jesus one day. But tonight Jesus is talking, raised. Raised because my blessing it's above you. It's on you. And these people they are living like this. They complicate themselves. A friend feeds on the wind. These are people that are they are living in this in a spiritual environment. And they and they and they close their ears to the Lord. But they want but they want they only want to listen what which is good. What's good for them. That, that sounds good. The, the people that are choosing people that said that today is very easy to to choose to choose the message that you want to hear with so many means of communication, a lot of resources that people have today. You, you hear the messages, the experiences of people. This is good, very good. We have the, we have a, you know, easy. The people can see the service via internet. You can watch at home. You can stay home. You can participate in the service. It's very good. This tool, this tool is very good. But the word says that. But where, where there are going to be two or three united in my name, I'll be there. We cannot underestimate this environment that's in the body of Christ. We, it's to be here. This tool that we have, this is a plan B. Sometimes we're at work. Sometimes we didn't have time. You couldn't make it on time to be in the service. That's good that you can use the tool. But what Jesus shows here in the church is for us. That we are, that we are united in the name of the Lord. Sometimes you are listening that you hear the message that it's very good. It's, it's very good. But the important is that that we be in the place where Jesus is present. We can do it. We are, no, no we, I don't want to say that you prohibited to watch it from the video. What I mean is what I mean is that we need to be involved. Involved in what's the body of Christ and what is our call to be a church. Our call to be to be here. To be here receiving the blessing of the Lord, receiving the the, the help of the Lord. To be part of these people that was chosen, chosen by God to live in the heaven. And a lot of people are feeding on the wind. Choosing what to do. Which message to hear? Sometimes, some, sometimes the people hear a hard message. Ah, no, let's listen to that tomorrow. Let's hear something easy, something that fits my type of life. Some people feed on the wind like that. And, and another one. And following the wind. How can you follow? How can you follow the wind? You don't even know where the wind going. You don't know where it comes from. How do you follow the wind? One time it's here, another time it's over there. You, you'll be crazy. That's what happens sometimes. The people that do that, that feed on the wind, the people that are living isolated, the people that are choosing just the good side of the gospel, just the good side of the Christianism, that's very dangerous. We have a call from the Lord. The Lord when spoke with Moses. Please gather the people. They need with my, they need to eat the body by the whole body, not not the good part of the of the ship, 
the entire ship. And the people are now feeding, feeding on the wind, not listening to the word of the Lord, not listening what sometimes what's the correction of the Lord. And the Lord says that the Father corrects who loves. Sometimes the words, sometimes it comes with a very negative sound, a firm word. The people, the people, people be, you know, be amazed. And now feeding on the wind. Not only listen, not only choose what they want to hear, but they want to find themselves what they find themselves in the direction. Sometimes it's one way and then sometimes it's a different way. And the people that are involved within this, it's like the gift says, they fall on the, the earth, they are taken, they're, they're involved, they lose the sense, they, they lose the sense of the life, they lose the pleasure of life, lose the pleasure for the world, the pleasure of pray, they lose the everything, because you don't have anything solid, you don't have anything where you can put your foot, I'm firm. The people, the, these are people that live here and there, wherever, wherever there's a good word, they go, with where there's a movement, a spiritual movement, something that brings joy, I go. And the people that live like that, the family that lives like that, they live like that. And the text, and he, he daily increases lies and desolation. My brother, when we look, when we look at the world outside, the people they're living like that, away from the Lord, People they are they are living the way they want it. This text it's like today, the Lord speaking with us. Because the word of Lord is prophetic. It's alive. The word of Lord is it's for us today. And we and we see people like that. Multiplying lies. People that live people that live, you know, lying. Everything is a lie. It's the wife lying to the husband, the husband lying to the, to the wife. It's a secret here, it's a secret there. No, don't look. It's like that. The relationship like that. The people like this following the wind, that's what happened. It's a word of lie. And destruction. Why? Because the enemy has taken possession of this place of that place. And the word says that the enemy comes to steal, to kill and destroy. Those that are avoiding the Spirit, the Holy Spirit, they're avoiding what God is doing, are seeing the, the homes being destroyed. And the people seems like they're being under anesthesia, anesthesiated. They're getting worse. Every day is a lie. Every day is a, it's a disgrace, destruction. And the people the people acting like nothing's happened, like this woman, like she's living a moment, walking barefoot, like nothing's bothering her, like something, like if it was the most natural thing in the world. People living in the, in the church and having a life in the world, outside of the church, and they do the alliance with the. And and now it's carried. And they make covenant with the Syrians. He was making an agreement with Tobias. Number one enemy of Nehemiah. The try. The construction of the, the walls. Tobias. And the people are making covenant. Bringing to their house, to their lives the advices of the world, losing the values, the spiritual values, the moral values, the family, the, the enemy of the world. When it invest, it's actually in the family. Why? Because the family is the base of the society. The family is our church. If we are losing in the house, if we're losing in our own house, in our home, if we're doing covenant 
to the world if we're opening the door to the world to come in to come into our houses what is the offer of the world and the oil and the oil is carried to Egypt the, the oil speaks of what of the Holy Spirit the blessing of the Lord what it's what we have best because it's the Holy Spirit that is molding the church it's the Holy Spirit that's working in the church it's the Holy Spirit that's pacifying the church it's this Holy Spirit that's doctrining the, the church it's this Holy Spirit that's bringing us the world to, to take us that takes us to take away from the world and be in the arms of Lord the Holy Spirit is this element that takes us to seek for the Lord even more it's the Holy Spirit that works in the church like like the groom receiving the presence of the Lord the oil talks about over this but those that are avoiding the voice of the Holy Spirit and hearing the devices there are those people they are they're trying to steal your blessing they're losing the blessing and that's like Egypt the oil is carried to Egypt because because the blessing of the Lord a lot of times we come to the service we have a gift like this the, the form of Jesus to show you what's what you're doing wrong don't do this you need to take a route you need to take a position and a lot of times when the Lord manifests when it gives the world it's lost in Egypt it's taken to Egypt it gets lost it gets lost easily the blessing of the Lord what comes from the Lord what you go out of the door you don't remember anymore it's because it's because you're taking your blessing to Egypt if those that has been the promises of the Lord in your life the promise that the Lord did to you for you and your family if you've seen it come true brother you could be losing you could losing this blessing to the Egypt Joshua once saw people like that people involving here there without direction doing things that didn't please the Lord the Lord said wait here you can do whatever you want but let me tell you something me and my family will serve the Lord I don't want to do I don't want to know what you're doing but me and my family we're gonna serve the Lord we're gonna trust the Lord we're gonna follow this the Lord we're gonna, we're gonna position ourselves where Lord find us grace where, where Lord finds vases so we can be instruments in the hands we don't want to we don't want to trust anybody but the Lord and the word says that that those that trust the Lord will be will be like a mount of Mount of Simon that never abel. those that trust in the Lord that the Mount of Simon that never never shakes no, it's not mountain it's like mountain is firm it's there position it in the Lord of Jesus is the Mount of Simon and tonight the Lord wants us to have a position that we can leave where we are if, if we are if you are choosing a lot of things if you are collecting only what's good like the flamion of the gospel all, only what's a gospel God is love God understands you know God accepts all you can do is come to the service there are a lot of people like that they only want to hear the good things of the gospel living like that living the word and the word living the like, like word people taking the word form you find people like there you don't know if he's a, it's a Christian or not I saw this person at the church Sunday night now he's like this here some people are living like that
coming inside the church without shoes, bringing all the dirt, all the powder, all the bad customs, everything that that doesn't belong to the servant of the Lord. But tonight, the Lord wants you to raise. That you can raise your head, and nothing, nothing is stronger than the Lord. Not, not, not even words. Yeah, there's some people, things like that. The maldition. Because there's power in the blood of Jesus. When you come to the service, when you, when you plead for the blood of Jesus, everything is taken away. There's no word. No, no stronger word than the, the word of the Lord. Sometimes you, you are following yourself in depression. You don't find pleasure in the life and the gospel, a lot of deception, a lot of frustration. But look, this it's part of life. It's part of life. But just look at the Lord. Because Jesus is the one that died for us. He paid a price. And tonight, don't be like your friend. And I'm your pastor. Jesus said that. He's a good pastor. He wants to peace us. He wants to fight for us. He, wants, he desires to be a good pastor in your life. He wants to conduct your life. He wants to conduct you and your family to have victories in His presence. No more, no more losses. No more frustrations. Enough of bad words and come only to hear the blessing of the Lord. Because you were called by the Lord to be a victorious, to be a winner. You have not been called by Jesus to be lost, to, to, to be a loser, to be, to be, to be ahead, not tell. Amen. Let's listen to her. You're going to be putting your life before the altar of the Lord, that the Lord give you a word, the confirmation that you are really a soul that you need the blessing of the Lord.
invite you to stand up with the revelation of the Lord. We're going to pray for those um, that would like to receive a blessing of the Lord. The, show, the Lord show five people that, are, that, have been, that have been hit with bad words, abuses, verbal abuses. But if you feel in this situation or any other situation where you need you need a blessing of the Lord, a deliverance of the Lord. Sometimes the people carry this, you know, heavy. Sometimes the the parents say something, the the, the spouse say something with the, you know, sometimes the blessing. If you if you're carrying something like that, if you can't if you can't forget, the Lord tonight wants to do deliver you from that free you from this if you want a blessing from the Lord you can't you can't keep the blessing of the Lord sometimes you come in the service you receive the Holy Spirit you are involved by the Holy, the Holy Spirit you cry but you can't maintain the blessing of the Lord because you're losing because you're taking the blessing to the Egypt to the world but if you are uh, if you will have that you're going to have that certainty the guarantee, this learning, this teaching of you, can, we're going to pray for you. Amen. The dike, the deacons, please. Lord Jesus. But the important is, Lord, I need a blessing. I need a. The Lord, I need, a, I need, I need to be a vase. I need to be with you. I need to take the pose of my life and keep the blessing of the Lord.
Yeah. Your Lord speaks with you again. A lot of people came in broken emotionally, sentimentally, but but I have cured this, the wound. I restored. I picked up the pieces and I make a hole for the glory of my name. This service was blessing for us. I'm, I brought, I made brains of glory tonight. Tonight, this, and this meeting was marked in eternity. I tell you that with these words, I taught you. Don't follow the winds, but follow the pastor, the one that gives you, the one that gives you, just follow my son, that's the truth. Tonight, my, my sons, I have opened the minds of some, some that were close to the, to, to the, to the, and I have brought you back where there's security, where there's food and life guarantee for the, your lives. Glorify my name, son. Those are what I have for the ones that I love, for those that love me, the ones that follow me. There's a family here tonight that I tell you tonight. Today was was a day of freedom, freedom of your victory, because you were close to war in the house. But I brought you peace. I I tell you before you a walk of a victorious in my presence, where I have been instrumentally in my work to help the church grow. My servant lady. That you came here tonight thinking that you're alone. You're not alone because you belong to me. I'm your God, that God that everything. I'm taking the loneliness from your heart now. I'm giving you the understanding that this is your family. This door, this open door for your salvation, for your preservation too. Glorify my name, George, because you follow the Lord that's powerful. That's the that fights for you especially those fights that you can't fight. My blessing was declared for you. Raise from your knees and, then I, and know that I give you another phase, another opportunity in my life. Glorify, glorify my name because my blessing is with you. God that we can find. Your acts of justice. We're blessed with everything. It was all family was going to be blessed. And we have this promise. We are part of, of the faithful church. Don't accept. Don't accept words. The word of Lord brings life. No destruction. Have a base in Jesus. Amen. Dear Lord, receive our service, our adoration to you. This feast that you prepare for us, because we're privileged, we're privileged to be here in your house. When many couldn't be here, but we're here. The doors are open and we're here. We're going to leave here renewed. We, we're going to be here. Happy in your presence. Take us in peace. Those servants that are coming back from Port St. Louis. That the powerful hands of you have been above any people. And, and we pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. The grace of the salvation, Jesus Christ, the love 
of our eternal Father, the sweets and consolations of the Holy Spirit, are poured upon us for now and forever. Amen. Is that right? Right? If anybody desires, remember that tomorrow we're going to have the biblical life. We're going to have a, a message here, a local message. So please be prepared. Well, to all the peace of the Lord.